All right, we're going to talk about two algorithms today. Now, you remember that when we had a tree like this, some kind of binary tree or any kind of tree, we had discussed some ways of parsing it, and we had discussed four particular parsing algorithms, pre-order, post-order, in-order, and level order. Uh, who remembers, we, we put them into two different categories, breadth-first search and depth-first search. Who remembers which ones belonged in which category? Pre-order, in-order, and post-order are depth-first searches, and level order is a breadth-first search. Okay? Uh, so that was just a little review. Now, when we have graphs, we have the similar concept of depth-first and breadth-first. I'm going to go over both of those algorithms. And there's one thing that makes it more complicated for a graph, and a problem that does not exist when it's a tree. Take a look at this thing and tell me, what do you think is what makes it more complicated? Yes, Ms. Mila? Yeah, what's the loop going to do? What happens if we're not careful? <laughs> we're going to end up going in circles. So we need to make sure that when we parse the graph, that we only visit each node once. So to do a depth-first search, we're going to need some machinery to help us parse the graph. We're going to need two pieces. We're going to need a list called a visited list. I'm going to give you a little clue here. When we eventually code this algorithm, I want you to use a Boolean, Boolean array for this visited list. We're going to eventually start off by having the visited list be empty because we haven't visited any of the nodes yet. We're also going to use an, aux an auxiliary data structure for our depth first search. Depth first search is usually associated with one special kind of auxiliary data structure. It's a stack. So we're gonna have a stack, and the only thing we need to know from the user is, what node would you like us to start the search on? We could pick any node. I'm arbitrarily gonna say we're gonna start our parsing at node A. So I'm gonna put A in the stack. Uh, we're gonna put it in the visited column here. And we're going to ask ourselves, does A have any neighbors, in other words, edges on it, that have not yet been visited? Does it? Yes. How many does it have? Three. It has three. It has nodes B, C, and D. And so now we have a decision to make. We can go to any of the three. And according to the depth first search algorithm, we could visit any of the three. But in this class, I'm going to add on an additional requirement that when you have multiple nodes that you could visit, I want you to visit them in alphabetical order. So of the three nodes that are possible for us to visit, B comes first in the dictionary before the other two. So we're going to go visit B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to visit B. I'm going to push it onto the stack. And I'm going to keep going. Uh, we're now going to look at, we're, we're going to be at look, node B. We're at node B now. So we're sitting here. A has been visited. So we're just going to cross that out. A has been visited. And B has been visited. So we're going to cross B out here like that. And now we ask the question, are there any nodes from B that we have not yet visited? Yes. There are. E and F. Which one are we going to visit? E, because e, e comes earlier in the alphabet. So we're going to push E into the stack. We're going to visit E. We're going to mark it here as visited. And now we are at node E. From node E, are there any nodes that we have not visited? Yes. Now B we've already visited, so we're not going to visit that one again. We'll come back to E. Any other nodes? Yes. H. So we're going to visit H. So we're going to visit H. We're going to push H onto the stack. We're going to mark H as having been visited. And now we're sitting at H. Now, are there any nodes from H that we haven't visited? Yes, there is G, D, and F. We'll use our rule to go visit D now. And where do we go? We went to node D. So we visited D, and we're going to mark it visited. Now we're sitting at node D. From node D, are there any other nodes that we have not yet visited? There is not. What should we do? Yes, sir. Would you go back? We're going to backtrack now, and we're going to pop D out of this stack, because D has been exhausted. So we now are back to node H. From node H, are there any other nodes that we haven't visited? There are. There is G and F. We're going to go see F next. 
So we're going to put F on the visited. We're going to push F onto the stack. We're going to mark it as having been visited. And now we are sitting at node F asking, are there any unvisited nodes? And there are not. So what are we going to do? We're going to pop this stack now. And we're right back in H again. And on the, any other nodes that we haven't visited is from H. There is still G. So we're going to visit G. We're going to push G onto the stack. And we're going to mark it visited. Now we're sitting at node G. We ask, are there any nodes that have not been visited? And there is, there is C. So we're going to go here to C. And we're going to visit C. And we're going to mark it visited. And now we're sitting at C. And we see that there are no nodes here at C that haven't been visited already. So we're going to pop C. Now we go to G. And we see there are no nodes that are not visited. So we're going to pop G. Then we pop H and E and B and A. And now the stack is empty. And that's how we know we're done. So here you can see we have a visited list of all the nodes. This is also what the output looks like. This is what the output looks like. A, B, E, H, D, F, G, and C. So you can see that that is a depth first search. Now, we could have had multiple depth first searches, equally right answers, but I added the additional rule that if there were multiple nodes to visit, then you, you visit the one that is earlier in the alphabet. The reason I added that rule is that when you do this algorithm, we want to get a deterministic answer so it'll match the order greater answer. So that is our depth first search.